Now let's understand the modern approach for portfolio construction. The first model which we are going to see is Markowitz model. So Markowitz model says that model identifies an investor's unique risk return preferences namely utilities. Now one thing is there that suppose I am taking two uh, stocks into my portfolio. I can calculate their combined return by putting the weighted average method. If there are equal weightage, simple average method will also work. So by just calculating the weighted average of those stocks, I can say what would be my average return from the portfolio. But the same thing cannot be applied when I talk about risk. I cannot say that weightage uh, risk, I'll be calculating it for portfolio for uh, stock A and stock B and that would be my risk of my portfolio. We cannot claim that. Hence, we need to have a different approach for the calculation of risk for a portfolio. That's exactly what is explained by Markowitz uh, in the Markowitz model. Right? So, we need to see that if two stocks are very much uh, similar to each other, that means they are correlated to each other. Let's say the prices move into the same direction. If the price of stock A is increasing, the price of stock B is also increasing and vice versa. That means in this case, my portfolio is having very high risk. But in case the um, a movement is happening in just opposite direction. For example, let's say if the price of stock A increases, the price of stock B decreases and vice versa. Basically, they are countering the risk for each other, both these stocks. Hence, I should be selecting a portfolio or I should be select con constructing a portfolio with such stocks which are just having opposite risk to each other. And basis that I can go ahead and calculate my risk for the portfolio. Now let's see the assumption part for Markowitz model. First is investors are risk averse. Investors are utility maximizers than return maximizers. All investors have the same time period as the investment horizon. Markowitz introduced the term risk penalty to state the portfolio selection rule. So Markowitz says that there should be risk penalty calculation done for, for constructing a portfolio or selecting a portfolio or selecting a particular asset class for a portfolio. A security will be selected into portfolio if the risk adjusted rate of return is high compared to other available securities. The risk adjusted rate of return that means once you take uh, into consideration the risk as well as the return or you adjust the risk against the return. So risk adjusted return utility will be equal to expected return minus risk penalty. Now risk penalty is an important term which has been introduced here. So risk penalty formula will be risk squared which is basically your variance divided by risk tolerance. So if you know what is the risk tolerance of a particular investor and you know what is the variance of a particular stock you can go ahead and calculate what is the risk penalty. So you can construct your, you can create your risk adjusted return utility by subtracting risk penalty from the expected return. So this is the basic concept that was given by Markowitz where he said how you can go ahead and construct a portfolio where you are not only considering the return of the uh, various asset class into that portfolio but you are also calculating what is the risk that is a result from that portfolio and basis this you can design a wonderful portfolio or a correct portfolio basis your objective.